It's just an important fight for you here, and uh, just uh, does this feel like it had you know more weight on your shoulders coming into this one, or can you not put it into that perspective? I, I'm trying not to, you know. I'm just trying to treat it like just you know just another fight. And I, I did obviously a lot of work, prepared for it really really hard, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna just do my thing. I'm not trying to think about all the pressure and oh, I should do this, I should do that, or what of this, what of that. Just go in and just you know. Play MMA. And has there been moments where you maybe let that overcome you, whether it was you know the positive side when you're on the winning streak to start, or the negative side when things maybe weren't going your way? Uh, you know, sometimes you do overthink. Sometimes you try new things. Sometimes you try to change your training. Some, you know, changes always happen, and um, you know that's just part of the game. You try, you're trying to you know get better. You're trying to learn. You're trying to experiment. You know, if you don't do that, you know. It'll be hard to progress, and that's what I'm trying. That's what I've been trying to do, and that's what I'm trying to do now. Oh, go ahead. Going back to that last fight, I mean, is it hard to find a silver lining in a short loss like that? Yeah, you know, it's it's, it's that one was a really difficult loss because um, we didn't even fight, kind of. You know, it was just everything happened so quick, and uh, yeah, just got dazed, and that was it. You know, it's really hard to kind of. Think about it, but you know it's part of the game. It's part of the game, and uh, the harder you fall, you want to make sure you bounce right back up. So, do you try to learn from it, or is it something you have to wipe it from your? I'm trying to learn from it as well. Yeah, I'm trying to learn from it. I'm trying to be more careful. You know, more alert, more relaxed, faster. You know, and um, maybe more cautious as well. I'm Michi, you're a Toronto guy. Uh, what, what kind of support, are you, uh, Canadian support, are you expecting out here in Vancouver? Do you have friends, family? Uh, out here as well. Yeah, actually, I do have some friends and family in Vancouver. I, I competed here, you know, back in the day in my judo days. I competed here also. I had one MMA fight here before as well. Um, I do have some friends, um, some close friends here as well. Um, so yeah, I, I expect uh, to be. I expect to be a really nice night with a lot of great people in the crowd. Uh, Misha, you know, you touched upon your wife's battle with breast cancer a little bit yesterday. I was wondering if you could elaborate more on sort of uh, how the experience has been for her, how you've been able to, you know, support her, you know, during this time. Yeah, you know, we, we it's been really, really rough. You know, we're we're fairly like really young, and uh, to hear those kind of news, you know, in our age, is kind of like very. It's not just kind of disappointing, but it's kind of scary at the same time, you know, because uh, we're healthy, we don't drink, we don't smoke, and. It just it just shows you that it can happen to anyone, really, and uh, yeah, it's just it's a it's a nasty thing. We went through a really kind of weird, nasty time, but luckily, you know, she was able to beat it, and uh, she's cancer free now. And uh, yeah, we just enjoy living. Did did her fight sort of put you know your literal fighting career kind of the challenges you face in perspective? Um, did it make you kind of you know think about the stuff that you have to deal with and, and in comparison to that kind of you know uh, uh, struggle? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. You know, I just it, it's just it's hard to you know when you have big big things in your life happen and you have to deal with you know not one thing but maybe two two different things. It definitely adds the pressure. But I'm I'm just happy that that kind of time is over. When you look at your opponent here, I mean, is his record any sort of motivation being the one to play spoiler? Uh, I mean, he's a great record, but as we know in the MMA, anything can happen. And uh, my main thing is not to concentrate on his record, but concentrate on uh, my skill and uh, make sure that my skill uh, be su more superior than his. That's my main thing that I, I worry about. We have a pretty thrilling uh, main event planned. I don't know if you're a fan of either guy, but what's your pick for the uh, headliner? You know, it's a very, very interesting fight. I'm actually, you know, I've been with Cowboy Cerrone on the same kind of fighting card for, you know, I think four now times. This is fourth time, or I believe so. Uh, so, yeah, I kind of, we always chat, you know, we always give each other kind of props. So, you know, I don't really know his opponent much, so I, I'm going to be cheering for Cowboy. Cowboy's been around forever. He ever give you uh, any advice? Um, you know, we didn't really train much together because um, he's mainly in California. Sometimes he is in Vegas, but uh, we didn't get, I didn't get the chance yet. But uh, this time, he's actually staying on my floor in a hotel. We chatted and he said that, yeah, like next time he's in Vegas, we'll definitely link up and do some training.